Hey guys, the more observant of you will realise that I am not Lewis. My name is Jen and I run a channel called Primrose Kitten. Primrose is currently just sat just down there being asleep. She's not the most helpful cat in the world. All she generally does is sit around and sleep. Whereas I spend a lot of time making teaching videos and writing questions. Um, that's what I do over on my channel. If you haven't seen my channel, come and uh, have a look. But Lewis has asked me over here today to talk to you about this year. And really, what do I say? I mean, this year, we just need to try and get through the best we can. And by that, I mean, we have to take an active role in looking after our mental health. Now, we're going to be going back to school and I'd love it if we could say that we're going to be in school for a whole year. But chances are that's really, really unlikely because occasionally you're going to get a bit of cough and you're not going to be allowed in school. Or someone in your bubble is going to test positive and then the whole bubble has to self-isolate. Or a few people in your school, maybe a few of the teachers test positive and then the whole school is shut. And you're not going to know this until right at the very last minute. So a really, really important thing this year is being resilient. Being able to easily respond to changes and looking after ourselves, looking after yourself. You being proactive in looking after yourselves. Now, there are lots and lots of different things you can do for this. And I mean, finding things that actively look after your mental health so whether it's doing things like mindfulness or whether it's doing a bit of reading or whether it's going out and doing some activities or hanging out with your friends all of these things are really 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 important and um, it is absolutely essential that you make time to do this and um, part of making time to do this is not letting your schoolwork get on top of you and pile up and all be left to the last minute so little and often is the best way for you to go with your schoolwork. Now, for science, for maths, Lewis and I have loads and loads of resources on our YouTube channels and on our websites to help you with this. So if you're in a science or a math lesson and there's something you don't understand, or your science is period seven on a Friday and you're hungry and you're tired and you just never pay attention in the lesson, or you're sitting next to somebody really, really annoying in maths and you can't quite see the board and you can't quite hear what the teacher's saying, all of these things are going to get in the way of your learning and if anything gets in the way of your learning and you don't understand it, then that's going to have a negative impact on your mental health. So, we need to do things about this. And I don't mean like kicking up a big fuss in class. I mean taking the topic and then going to watch one of my videos and going to watch one of Lewis's videos. And then once you've done that, do some questions on it. I have thousands of questions covering science and maths, GCSE and A level all over on my website. Um, Lewis, I know, has loads and loads of videos and loads and loads of questions for you as well. Both of us, we are here to support you as much as we can. This is our jobs now. This is what we do. We're here to support you when maybe you're not necessarily getting that support in school. Because if your school does shut last minute, um, say it shuts first thing Tuesday morning and you've got maths first thing Tuesday morning, well, you still need to do some maths, but school might not be in a position to provide you with much work on that shorter notice. So this year is going to be really tough, guys. I would love to be able to guarantee for you that you are going to be sitting exams in um, May, June, July. But at the moment, we just don't know yet. We don't know when the exam is going to be or if the exams are going to be. And we need to prepare for every situation as much as we can and we need to be really resilient to any changes that crop up so actively looking after your mental health and staying on top of your schoolwork so that it doesn't pile on top of you catching up with little bits that you don't understand by using my videos my questions or Lucy videos and Lucy's questions and looking after yourself as much as you can um we are here with you every single step of the way doing as much as we can to support you ouch
This is why in some videos I have had explained scratches.